14 students at Jefferson Elementary have come down with chicken pox in the past month, forcing health experts to act to try and stop the spread. KXY 4's Eric Loney spoke with parents, school officials, and health experts today. And Eric, parents at another school are also being warned of the outbreak. Yeah, parents here at Roosevelt Elementary School at 14th and Bernard on the South Hill. We got this letter home sent, uh, sent home with their kids today warning them about the outbreak. There is not an outbreak here at Roosevelt. Kids do have it. There is an outbreak up at Jefferson up the road where kids who have not been vaccinated or had chicken box before were st told they'd better stay home. And some parents kept their home, kids home just to be safe. Misty Olson kept her daughter Chloe home from school today, even though she didn't have to. Chloe's had the first of two chicken pox vaccinations, but her little brother Carter hasn't. I basically thought with him being as young as he is, I just basically didn't want it her to bring it home to him. Chloe's a kindergartner at Jefferson Elementary School. Fourteen students in the school have come down with the chicken pox, forcing the health district to declare an outbreak. Children and staff without proof they've been vaccinated or had the chicken pox before are being kept home for three weeks to stop the spread of the disease. It's the second chicken pox outbreak in Spokane schools this year. At Garfield Elementary, we did a similar thing, and what we did, what, what we saw was that it did stop the outbreak from spreading. And that's why the CDC is recommending it, because it has been proven to work. Eight cases of chicken pox have also been reported recently at nearby Roosevelt Elementary. It's not an outbreak yet, but it prompted the health district to send a letter home to parents today warning them chicken pox are in the school. I think the, the school and the health district are handling it, handling it well and they're keeping right on top of everything, so we're all well informed. The health district predicts the disease will continue to spread. It will likely be at some point in other schools, so if people want to avoid having their kids sent home, they should make sure that their shot records are up to date. If they need a vaccination, get them in, get vaccinated. Olson says she knows her kids will get chicken pox, but kept her daughter home for just today because she's not ready for them to get it right now. Chicken pox or chicken pox. I think it's, you know, it's kind of a fact of life. Um, more so that if I can have any control over it, I would like him to be a little bit older before he got him. Those students kept out of school in order to get back into school. They have to get vaccinated or proof, get written proof that they've had the disease before. That they can't come back to school until May 2nd, and that delay could be pushed out farther if the disease keeps showing up in the classroom. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4.